Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Tag Weekly. This is week number eight. And if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail, this week's topic is all about changes. Now, first off, what kind of changes am I talking about? Well, first, changes to this series, but also the changes kind of coming to this channel. And while this isn't a big overview of everything I have planned, this is more to just kind of fill you up on the next coming week and some of the changes we will see. So first, what are the changes for this series? Well, nothing grand, nothing spectacular, nothing absolutely mind-blowing. It's pretty much the fact that the to-do list isn't something I feel like is necessary. It's just me kind of covering the same old topics, and a lot of them are kind of background stuff, not stuff you would super pay attention to anyways. So I thought, why well, need it? So I removed it. So that really is the biggest thing. The fact is, this is just going to focus on the topic, which if you did not know, someone in the comments each week gets to decide one topic. And if none's chosen, I get to decide the topic. And other than that, we have the former tag vlog goals, which we go over because I promise to still complete those. And outside of that, there really isn't anything else to talk about in the series regarding changes. But there are plenty of other changes coming, I promise. And some of those changes have to do with the series. Now, I did not know we have a long amount of series. Some haven't been seen on the channel for a significant amount of time. And I've decided it's time to continue and slowly bring in series. Now, that's not saying every week we'll have an episode of every series. That's technically impossible with the number we have. But what it is saying is that I promise to make sure that over the next two to three months, every series will see an update. Going over the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed Only Challenge Edition will see an episode. Now, I do have some issues with the Challenge Edition. It's The deck isn't great anymore. It's definitely far weaker than when we started the series. But I don't want to end it. I kind of want to try to collect everything. So unless the ban list forces any major changes, the deck will stay the way it is. And we will just power through with what we have. Now, now regarding Yu-Gi-Oh! What the sets, I'm struggling to find people to come on and participate in the series. I honestly keep wanting people to, you know, hopefully partake. So I'm going to keep looking and when I find someone, an episode will come out. But I have to really debate if the series is kind of a longevity-based series, especially when there's no interest in anyone coming on the series or coming on the channel to participate on it. The short series, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pack a Day, will see a new product open, which means probably 20 to 30 new um, shorts, depending on what set I get. Because I don't want to give away what set it is, so yeah, I can't give you the exact number of packs. Next, we go to Collector's Journey, which is seeing a name change. That will also see an opening and kind of an update. It also will introduce a new name. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. I mean, I know I've kind of stayed away from the physical card game, but uh, I've recently decided to make some changes in my life in the sense that I want to take more risks, financial and otherwise sometimes stupid risks in some categories. But I want to make sure I can create content that we get to the road to 500 and that something actually happens on this channel because I feel like we're stalling out and that's not what i want or, or to see right now especially when there's so many other things going wrong around my life and so many other stressful things going on i would like to keep this channel moving forward now after that we obviously have Yu-Gi-Oh masso duel which has been seeing a ton of episodes i will continue to film those i will continue to update those and obviously if you guys see any of these series on this list that i'm talking about that you want to see changes to or your suggestions about let me know down in the comments down below obviously after that we have mystery masochist which saw one episode drop a while ago and i was kind of waiting to make sure the uh sealed only dbc got totally done and now it is mystery masochist will be one that pops up occasionally kind of like challenge edition i don't have a ton of money to splurge on physical product but i can be selective and try to do an episode of one every like month or so so we'll get that going uh when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! virtually pro that is seeing recording we actually had an issue on twitch and i debated about whether i wanted to do another stream or not and i just decided i'm going to leave it 
Also, friendly duelists, who I usually duel against without spoiling, I guess now you know there's at least one match I need friendly duelists in for, he was kind of away for a bit. I think on a vacation, I think he said. So the video actually stalled out because I was waiting for him to come back. He's back. We're recording it. And you'll probably see it in a couple of days' time. Uh, a couple of days after you're seeing this. Now, regarding other series, the Digimon Slide Deck Volution, I debated about it. I love the card game. I think Digimon is more fun than Yu-Gi-Oh! Hands down. But there's also not a virtual way to play it, and I have a hard time finding matches. So I also want to make changes to this series, introduce a new name and everything. And at one point, I thought, what's the point in still doing it? Then I realized because I enjoyed the game, who cares the views it gets? Who cares if people aren't coming in to watch it or are coming in to watch it? I should do what I enjoy. And for Digimon, I may have deleted a lot of footage from the last episode. So what's going to happen is there is just going to be a grand kind of re-intro with a ton of opening, a uh, pack opening, some older. I saved that, thankfully. But because I was thinking about just doing Digimon pack openings for a bit until I could figure it out. But I decided I want the series to keep going. And so I'm going to slightly change things up, sort of tweak it. So you'll see that. Obviously, we have the tag weekly. I already discussed change that. Next is the card shop journey. Now, I still have a bunch of products selling for the card shop journey, and they're not moving. And that's just because a lot of the product left aren't, how to say this nicely, aren't worth it. Uh, they're not great cards. And so they're kind of sitting there. So I'm thinking about doing bundles, but we will have a card shop journey opening pretty soon with regards to packs and singles being sold. So keep an eye out for that as well. Now, regarding the Let's Plays, the kind of video games that are left over. Now, there's Starship Troopers Extermination, which they are doing a massive update. And I've been trying to wait, honestly, for the new update with everything coming out. I just decided I've already missed one update. I'm just going to record some solo gameplay or Crossflux or Broken I and Broken Ideas will probably be seen there. Uh, Phasmo, I would have to get them kind of into a mood for Phasmo. Uh, EAFC 24 player and manager career modes have some things I'm working on, but they will also see releases with new kind of focal points on the series, a new perspective on them. And hopefully you guys like the thing I want to go for. Now, this is, how do I say this without, okay, so this is. This is depressing, and this is one of the parts that kind of hurt me. So me, Broken Ideas, and Crossflex decided to do Lethal Company. And we recorded, oh man, eight episodes? Maybe even ten. We recorded so much, we were having so much fun. And I was using new audio interface where we weren't on Discord, and I could capture my audio directly from my gaming PC, which is right here, over to my stream editing PC, which is right here. Instead... I accidentally hit a button and I didn't realize they had key binds and stuff and I switched it off. Switched the audio to like focus only on my voice. Which um which honestly ruined everything. Uh what happened is in the audio for the videos, all you could hear was me talking. You couldn't hear game playing sounds, you couldn't hear broken ideas and cross flux and Lethal Company was hella fun. Uh, we had a great time. It was a blast. Um, the absolute fact is that we, uh, I lost all the footage. Now, obviously, Crossflex Broken Ideas has footage, and whether it's released on Crossflex's channel, that's up to them to decide. I do plan to record more, but um, it was heartbreaking. I tried everything to try to figure out some other way to get audio to match or you know, see if I could get their audio and cut it up. But I was like, it really didn't make much sense because I could still not have gameplay audio. So it would just be random snippets of them talking or not talking and no gameplay. And there was a lot of moments where there would be creepy sounds and you would see me look around and it was just like me going. And you, you wouldn't know what I heard. You wouldn't know what I'm feeling. And it's just because the atmosphere was creepy and I was afraid to talk because obviously in Lethal Company, open mic, they hear you die. And it was just like, it took all the suspense out of it. And it sucked having to leak 10 videos 
especially when I was planning to intertwine those these weeks with um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Masso Duel, which is obviously our Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, SEMO-inspired series. And it was just like, what do I do now? Well, I didn't have enough Master Duel to, you know, Masso Duel to fit in between. And um, it just, it sucked. It actually sucked. Um, so, yeah. Honestly, guys, so the changes to the series and stuff, I'm super excited about them. And I'm excited that there will be episodes of everything coming out. I can promise probably over the next two weeks, all the video games will see updates. We'll see multiple ones. Maybe not Phasmo, but I would love to play more of that. It had a great time. It's just, we wish I had more people to play. Um, what I might do is Starship Troopers Extermination. I think I'll probably be streaming that. Uh, this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, over on Twitch. Uh, links in the description below, guys. If you want to come over and hang out. Uh, it starts at 8 p.m. PST, but I sometimes start a little bit earlier than that. Um, but, yeah, I plan to get a bunch of the series kind of back in rotation. And kind of, you know... Yeah, kind of back going again. But I have to be honest, the Lethal Company... Um, the Lethal Company loss of episodes. The fact I lost like nine, ten episodes emotionally broke me. It really did because there's been a lot of other issues. If you did not know, I really like Call of, uh, Call of Duty Modern War Modern Warfare Three Zombies. Jeez, I should just say Modern Warfare Zombies because that's what it's pretty much called. It's been crashing nonstop for me. I've tried every fix and it isn't working. And just earlier. Uh, when I was recording Lethal Company stuff and lost the video, I lost a bunch of gear and I've been losing gear multiple times. Um, I, uh, a lot of games I have are stable. They don't have issues. Lethal Company was an audio issue I caused by accidentally hitting something. But Modern Warfare Zombies, I have a fun time with it. I wish they'd update it more. But when the constant crashes, it's like I can't even do anything in the game. I, I worry about not only their servers, but the game getting these game errors that are just, when I look it up, people say, oh, it has to do with an AMD card. Oh, no, wait, it has to do with a NVIDIA card. Well, wait a minute, but you just said it had to do with an AMD card. Well, it has to do with files not being right. I uninstalled and re-downloaded the game multiple times. I've repaired it. I've cleared, you know, caches to make sure it before every time I play. And... It's crashing nonstop. And so the absolute um, loss of multiple things for Modern Warfare Zombies. Losing 10 episodes of Lethal Company. Um, actually getting scared at one point. I thought my microphone died and I was like, oh, I'm going to be without a mic. Thankfully it's working. It was a cord issue. Um, and yeah. But there was there was some scary times over this last week with some of the stream stuff and some of the uh, video game stuff and some of the videos and I gotta say it was not the last week or two has not been great in regards to that but I'm looking forward to the changes not only I'm making in my life there's some changes I'm making with meditating trying to work out trying to get in shape try to get in better health um, to not only get myself in a position to be healthier and a little bit stronger but also to kind of build up my confidence because I think I want to, try, like I said with the Valentine's Day episode, put myself back out there and, you know, I have a self-confidence issue. I really do. And it's not so much like self-confidence and the negative, like, oh, I'm the ugliest man alive junk. I'll joke about that, but, you know, it's more of I know my limitations and I know when I can push myself and I will never be one that believe I can throw a car, you know, like, you know, with some people have overconfidence. I don't, I don't think I'm underconfident. I just feel like I'm too realistic and set, which can sometimes be kind of a downer. If someone asks you a question and suspecting some, you know, like if people say, oh man, that was a nice try. That was a good attempt. No, I know what I could do better. Like uh, Call of Duty, you know, there was moments when I'm playing Warzone where, you know, people are like, oh, you did the best you could. No, I didn't utilize my grenades properly. I need to remember that I had this on and I could do this a little bit better. You know, it's, it's learning from that. And I'm not someone who can just take, oh, you did a great job because no, I know I could have done better. And, you know, changes like that, uh, the self-criticism, 
and all those things that come in total with it. So those are changes I'm going to make. But talking about some things that never change, let's talk about the form and tag blood goals. Okay, they do change. Lose weight, I've lost weight. Yay, but I'm not at my target yet. And I don't have a target here because for me, if I focus too much on a goal or that, I will let it absorb me and I can become unhealthy about it. Find a job. I'm looking for one. I actually came across a really bad scam job that's made me quit using a couple sites and now I'm down to one that I really trust because I've gotten jobs from there before. Uh, get a video sponsor. I wish it would indicate um, that someone sees this channel and myself as something worth uh, sponsoring and investing and showing that I am worth it. Uh, Smock UKA, go to a UGO Digimon event. I have gone to a virtual one. I think he means an in-person one, but I have yet to find out exactly. I do need to message him uh, or wait for him to comment or something because Smog UKAs would tell me if virtual is yay or nay. Uh, I think he means a physical one, though. I think it actually used to say go to a physical Yu-Gi-Oh! Digimon event, so I might just be... Uh, I might just need to rewrite that. Uh, Urza, collab with a Yu-Gi-2 with 5k plus subs on both channels. I want to get this channel to 500 before I focus on that. And the other Urza one, get to 500 subs. We bounced between 355 and 354 a lot the last couple days. And, you know, I try not to look at the numbers other for this, you know, because... Looking at numbers, just like with streaming and looking at numbers for, you know, number of people watching your stuff like that, it can get in your head. And with losing multiple recordings of a series, thinking my microphone died, struggles with games I usually enjoy and now can't play at all. I've completely uninstalled it. Yeah, t tonight I played it and I lost so much stuff. It broke me and I've been uninstalled Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone and all that. Um, but, 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 but. The biggest, the biggest um, blow amongst all of this is that seeing that 355, 354, 355 bounce back and forth, I kind of focused on it amongst all this other stuff, and it was just everything felt heavier than it used to be. Not to mention it's tax season. There's, um, you know, I'm helping uh, with tax stuff. I'm doing a bunch of other stuff that, you know, regarding updates and upgrades and stuff like that and it's you know everyone has stressful weeks everyone has bad weeks where everything seems to go wrong and i'm hoping that this title this episode being changes but also the changes i'm looking at myself i literally just had the worst choking thing you saw a weird cut i just started coughing oh my god my eyes are actually watery Oh man, I'm not leaving the coffin though. That's going to be edited out. This is just going to be an awkward transition. But the changes to myself that I plan to make, the changes to channels, to the stream and everything, they will give me things to focus on. And I know a lot of little projects I can do to kind of get that confidence and push aside this bad, really kind of tough last week I've had. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hey, if you have a topic for next week, let me know in the comments down below. Till next time, tag out. A special thank you to all my Patreon supporters, Urza. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, wanting to see content early, or just to make me re-record this because I'd have to add another name to the list, check out Patreon in link description below.